Hello po, kamusta po? I hope you're all doing great despite what we are experiencing nowadays. Pero sana nasa maayos tayong kalagayan lahat. So for this one, I would like to show you how to come up with a semi-hydrophonic spot. Ano ba itong semi-hydrophonic spot? A semi-hydrophonic spot makes use of conventional planting and hydroponics planting methods. Unahin muna natin yung hydroponics. Ano ba yung hydroponics? Pag sinabi natin kasing hydroponics, basically hydro is water. So, it's a means of planting without using soil. Sa atin naman, natry natin gumawa ng medyo malapit sa hydroponics na madali lang gawin para sa atin sa bahay. Ano pang kagandahan pag nag-hydroponics tayo? Well, marami naman. Aside from added decoration siya, uh, nagiging mas sustenatic ang watering natin, at saka it makes it easier also for us. So, paano natin ito gagawin itong semi-hydroponics spot? Ito yung mga kinakailangan muna natin. So, syempre, kailangan muna natin ng plastic bottle. 1.5 or 2 liters, that will do. Kailangan din natin ng strips of cloth, preferably cotton. So, ito na pre-cut na siya. We also need a pair of scissors. Kailangan din natin ng cutter blade. Siyempre, we still need soil. And then, the plant that we are going to plant. And of course, we also have water, which I placed in this beautiful mug. Sponsored kasi yung mug. Kaya yan mo nang gagamitin ko for this water. Okay. Now, paano natin ito sisimulan? To start with, we are going to cut the pet bottle into two first. So, pinrecut ko na siya kanina using the cutter blade. You may also do as well, pero tandaan lang pag gumagamit ng cutter blade, yung video niya kasi matalim. Pag nakasugat ka, masakit. It hurts more than a breakup. Just kidding. <laughs> Yun ang sasabihin ko. Well, when you cut the plastic bottle, uh, mas maganda na dun sa kalahati ninyo siya ikat. So, most uh, most likely almost the same height lang yung upper portion at saka yung lower portion niya. Okay, so now that we have cut the plastic bottle, which we set it aside for a moment. Um, by the way, you can already remove the cap and um, set aside yung siya. Pwede na natin siyang ibenta. Okay, sama natin sa ibang plastics for recycling. So set aside muna natin yung ating plastics. Now, let's move on to our strip of cotton cloth. Ina-precut na din siya kanina. Okay, so let's just have a few strips. Each strip, uh, mas maganda kung ang measurement niya ay from 7 to 10 inches. Nakadepende kasi siya sa size ng ating bottle. Of course, if you're going to make use of a larger bottle, you would need longer strips. Um, for this task, 7 to 10 inches will do. So, kunin muna natin yung ating mga bottle strips. Okay, so we'll put them together. Okay, gaano karaming cotton strips? Nasa sa inyo yan, but I would suggest around 5. Okay, so let me just cut the excess parts here. Okay, hindi rin kasi masyarong maganda pag sobrang haba ng ating cloth. Okay, anong susunod natin gagawin kapag nakuha na natin yung bundle of cloth natin? Now, I would like you to measure order pull it into 3 para makuha natin yung thirds. Ayan, so we add one third, two thirds. So, dito sa mark na ito, kung saan one third from the top, itatali natin siya using a small piece of cloth. So, we tie it. Okay. Ayan. So, ready na yung ating piece of cloth. Now, ang susunod na gagawin natin, we get back the upper portion of our plastic. Isushoot natin ngayon yung ating strip of cloth. Okay. So, ilalagay natin sa din yan. Ilain lang natin pa baba. And just pull it gently. If you would notice, pag hinila niyo siya, tapos lumusot siya, that means you have to make this portion thicker. So, paano natin siya pakakapalan? Kumuha lang kayo ng isa pang strip of cloth. Okay, kumuha ko na maliit. Itatay lang natin siya saan para kumapal siya. Ayan, paparitasan natin yan. Ipapasok ulit natin doon sa plastic. So, let's pull it gently. Notice, nag na siya doon. Hindi na siya ng tulog. Okay? So, that would be good. And, uh, meron na tayong ano kaya? Jellyfish. Plastic jellyfish with cotton tentacles. Okay. Yan. Yeah, Enough play with that. Kunin na natin ngayon yung ating lower portion. 
So we can use it as a base already. So let's use it as a supporting base for this one. Ayan. Now we are ready to add the soil. So i-fix natin yung tela na lang dito. Okay, notice na ito i-distribute natin ng pataas yung tela so that when it draws the water from the reservoir below, mag-spread out siya sa ating soil. So we slowly gently add the soil. Okay, let me adjust the plot inside. Okay. Yun. So we have now added the soil on our pot. Ngayon, syempre, tatanim na natin yung ating halaman. Okay? Ayan. So, may extra soil pa ako dito. So, let me yap that one. Tagtagal pa natin ng soil para makover yung roots ng ating plant. Okay. So, pag naglalagay tayo ng soil, dahan-dahan uh, lang. Tsaka, huwag natin sakalin yung Halaman. Kasi pag nasakal yan, mahihirapan din yung tumibi yan. It's just like love. Diba? You should know how to keep space. Okay. Now, let's continue. So, we are done with the top part. We already added the soil. We already added the plant. So, where does the water come in? Now, we put the water on the bottom part. So, punin na natin yung ating water from our beautiful pump. Sama na natin, Suzanne. Okay. Dahan-dahan. It's important na huwag masyadong puno ito ha, konti lang. Kasi, pag sobra, masama. <laughs> well, anyway, yes. If you're going to put that, notice the fully submerged yung ating block. Okay. Why does it need to be submerged? Because, i-absorb niya yung water. Yung water, magka-travel dito sa cloth, paakyat doon sa soil. Kaya kahit hindi mo siya diligan araw-araw, yung water, kung siya siyang aakyat, madidiligan na yung ating plant. And of course, our plant, with its roots, will absorb the water. Okay? So, ganit niya. Since ka bagong tanim siya, pwede pa natin siyang diligan dito sa taas. Para makapag-adjust yung ating bagong tanim na halaman. Okay. Now, what if you would like to add fertilizers? Pag gusto mong lagyan ng fertilizer, advisable na liquid fertilizer ang ilagay mo. You can directly put it dito sa ating liquid part, sa liquid container natin, yung ating liquid fertilizer. Okay, so done. We are already done with our semi-hydroponic spot. Diba? Madali lang. Now, if you want to hide this one, you can paint it. Pwede mong pinturahan para hindi nakikita yung plot sa loob. But as for me, I prefer it na ganyan lang yung itsula niya. Okay, so you might be asking, would you survive ba yan? Yes, definitely it will survive and it will still depend on how you take care of it. Of course, kung hindi mo na yung lagyan ng tubig, mamatay din yung halaman. Okay? So, this is our first output. Ito, meron din. Ayan. So, you can see, umubo naman siya, okay pa naman siya. Okay. This one as well. Okay, ito rin. Okay. Isa pa. Ayan. So, you would notice ito, medyo colored na siya. Uh, effect ng plot at saka yung fertilizer din na nailagay. Ano mong kagandaan pag gumagamit tayo ng ganito? So, una ko muna nakakapag-recycle tayo. Nakakatulong tayo sa environment because we are recycling plastics. Second, we are able to beautify our areas. Mas nakakaganda siya sa ating lugar. So, sabi ko nga, kung gusto nyo i-paint, if you have a favorite color and you would like to integrate it here, you can do so. Paint each container. Nasa sa inyo na po yan. Okay, and then, kung ikaw yung katulad kong medyo makakalimutin sa pagbibilig ng halaman, it also works because you don't have to water the plants anymore. Basically, they are already absorbing the water that they need. Pag may tanong kayo, feel free to drop it on our comment section. And huwag kalimutang i-like at pag-subscribe para sa mga susunod pa nating mga videos. So, yun lang lang. I hope may natutunan tayo sa time na ito. Hanggang sa susunod, maraming maraming salamat po.